Hello and welcome. My name is Manuel Quintana, and today I'm here to talk to you about organizational apps within Power BI. I guess I could almost say within Power BI and Fabric, as you're going to see when we break this down. The official item I believe we see inside when you go to create a new item, because this is a new object, it, at the moment of recording, it is in preview. So depending on when you watch this, it may be GA, but it's called an org app or organizational app, right? And you're going to see a lot of parallels with an org app as compared to an actual workspace app. Now, if you're unfamiliar, right, a workspace app is what we've had for the longest time inside of a workspace within Power BI so that we could share multiple objects with our consumers, right? Our, when we have Power BI reports and dashboards and those are items, maybe even if you're working with paginated, let's say we had four or five of those different objects, you know, all together, and we wanted to bundle them together and share them with an audience. The Workspace app was a fantastic, effectively best practice way of sharing this with a group of individuals. Because now you have one object, the Workspace app, that you could share with Group A. And they further enhance this with multiple audiences. So you could say, hey, Group A should only see this dashboard and this report and this paginated, while Group B should only get the paginated and this other Power BI report, right? You could segment this. They extended how many audiences you could specify, but it was nice, right? You had one place, the Workspace app, that you could go and decide who is going to see what, and that's what you managed rather than individually managing each object. Definitely a positive, right? So let's dive over and take a look at this, right? As you can see, I'm here. I'm just inside of a Power BI workspace. Uh, it should be noted for this feature, there's a couple of things, right? First, you do need to enable this feature because it's a preview item. So if you're watching this and you're not seeing the option here, you can see when I hit new item and I type in org, it's just there, org app, and it says preview. If you're not seeing this, and you will want to get someone who has access to your admin portal, and you'll need to enable this feature within the tenant settings. If we go take a quick look, I can go over here to my admin portal. We can see over in tenant settings, if I just kind of look up org app here, you can see there's a feature that's under Microsoft Fabric category. It says users can discover and create org apps, right? So turn it on. This is the classic tenant settings where you can turn it on. Maybe only turn it on for a specific user, a specific group. You can delegate this potentially to the capacity admins if you want. You can see down below. But at the end of the day, this feature needs to get turned on. So if you don't see it, that may be the reason why. So once you have it turned on, who can actually create organizational apps from a workspace perspective? Effectively, the same people who could create workspace apps, right? You need to be a contributor with the sharing capability or higher, and you can use this new artifact on org app. So with that being said, what are some of the biggest differences here? Why would we do it? And then we'll actually create this organizational app here. Well, the first thing is that the items that you can leverage within an actual organization app differ, right? Your workspace app, which is still there, both of he's still here at the moment, is going to be effectively your Power BI artifacts. Once again, Power BI reports, dashboards, and then paginated reports. When we get into org apps, you can do all of the, what we just mentioned, but you can also bring into the mix things like fabric notebooks, as well as real-time dashboards. So if you're already adventuring in that place, this is a great place that you can bring things together. The other major difference here, it still at the moment is limited to the artifacts inside the same workspace. So the idea is if you have audience A who needs to see these two or three objects, you create an org app for them and you can label it accordingly. You have a different group that is group B and they need to see different artifacts, you create a second org app within your workspace and share it appropriately. One of the biggest nuances and differences here between the org app and the workspace app is a little bit minor to a degree if you think about it, but it, I think it's going to be important from two different perspectives. A workspace application, when you create it, you can see just on the screen, it says create app. We would go through the process, specify our artifacts, and then we hit create. When we do this, it effectively saves that version of the report, dashboard, or paginated report. That is the version that is part of your workspace app. You share it, and that's what users see. If I go and start modifying that report, dashboard, whatever it is, that's actually only being impacted in the workspace. The actual workspace application does not see those changes unless we decide to update the app. So that's an important thing to note. Workspace app has like a versioned version of the report or you know whatever object you put in there. But when you share an org app, it is a link effectively to that object. So if you make ch adjustments and changes, there's no update org app. The only thing you might be updating or changing is who has access to it. But that report will always be the report that exists in the workspace. When you add a user to an org app here, it effectively gives uh, read access to the object directly. So they could technically, you could just give them a link to the individual report 
and they can access it that way too. So that's an important thing. You may like the idea that Workspace Apps has this versioned element. So if you're making adjustments and changes inside the workspace, granted, if you're kind of, if you followed my deployment pipelines thing though, you won't be making changes in prod, right? So there's a whole conversation there, but let's assume you want to have some sort of control. You only have a single workspace. You don't have deployment pipelines. It's kind of nice knowing that you can make adjustments and changes to a report and it's not immediately showing it to the users until you're ready, right? When you hit that button. So there's a nicety in that, but from the other perspective, if you do have some sort of control process there, some sort of life cycle management, and you, you know, these changes are undergoing their scrutiny that they should be, it's kind of nice knowing that you don't need to update an organizational app to see that immediate current present view of that object in question. So that's kind of nice, right? Very quickly, we'll just take a look right here, just creating an org app. You can see that I have just one dashboard and two reports at this point, they're just Power BI reports. I do have a notebook in here, right? I don't have a real-time dashboard. Once again, that would be an option. And just to show you this, right? If I go to create an app and I just kind of put something in here to go to add the content, you can see that I'm not gonna see my actual notebook. So this is once again, some of the differences between the two. That's our workspace app, the more classical way. But now I can go into my new item, look for the org app, and I'll just call this org app one. And then you just kind of start building out a lot of parallels. So if, you're, if you've been using workspace app, you're gonna feel very comfortable here. You can see it says add, what do you wanna add? And it says workspace content. And look, it's the same list, but look what I have instead. I have the notebook, right? The dashboard isn't present here. That's one thing and I'm assuming that will probably come, but right now we are missing like the notebook. I mean, the notebook's here, but we're missing the real-time dashboard, which if I just had, it would show. So nuances, remember this is in preview, so I imagine we'll probably see the dashboard here, but you literally pick and choose. Like I said, if group one only needs to see this and the notebook, I can hit add to app. And at that point now, it's about now adding and branding stuff. Because remember in the add contents, or pardon me, in the add option, we could add sections that existed in Workspace app. You can put links that was visible there. It's a nice thing. You can add an overview page, which is quite interesting. So that's a nice little addition compared to the Workspace one. They have kind of the details section, but it's a nice self-contained element. And then, of course, you can get into things like branding, right? You can add an image just for this. You can add a theme just for this. So it's kind of nice. And this is org app by org app that you can accomplish this. And of course, once it's all said and done, once you've configured this, once you've named it correctly, all that fun stuff, of course, you can save it. If you wanted to, technically, you can just go here and have a preview, which is kind of nice, right? You just view this and kind of see it, uh, preview before you actually do anything. And, and now it's available, right? And at this point, it's like sharing any other artifact. I can just go in here, hit share. This is going to, of course, access my Entra directory. So I can go ahead and say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and add so-and-so here as having access to this. And I can add my trainer, so I can add a security group if I wanted to. I could specify a specific individual in my organization. So once again, the same as a workspace application, which is nice, right? There's not a lot of new stuff you're going to need to learn here. Just understanding what's supported and uh, the live version of each of these objects. But it's in here now. There is an object in here, an org app that you have access to, and then you can share. And just as I went to manage access, let's say you need to remove someone, you absolutely can. What's also interesting here is as well for the end user, when you have a workspace application, this effectively will, you can of course bookmark the URL and that fun stuff, but the users have to go into, from a Power BI perspective, there's a whole section for your apps, right? It's kind of where it's contained. Because this is its own individual artifact, this is something that will show up in the browse section, right? This is something that will show up in their recents and their homepage. So I think it has a little bit more visibility, right? You can see it would show up here if I was accessing it, if I was sharing with someone. So it kind of has an additional degree of visibility that otherwise the workspace app does not. Some interesting things, once again, it's here in preview. I'm assuming we're gonna see even more come out. I mean, we will have to kind of see what the future holds as far as um, the idea of workspace apps and these organizational apps, as there's, there is a ton of crossover between the two. Hopefully this feels good. You know, now you have another way that you can share your workspace artifacts, your Power BI, and now fabric artifacts with different groups within your organization. So hope you enjoy, hope you like creating your organizational apps or org apps, and I'll see you in the next one.